What up, what up, it's Dane there, and in this video I'm going to be telling you why skinny guys or skinny teenagers, whatever, people just can't gain muscle. I'm going to be telling you exactly why this shit happens, right? So it's quite simple, straightforward, but yet these people are still making the same mistakes. So first of all, a lot of people are actually scared to gain a bit of fat, right? Especially women, man. If you know these women, they don't want to gain fat, they don't want to bulk, they just want to stay lean year round. Okay, that's fine if they are a fitness model or whatever, but they just won't maximize their muscular gain right so in order to maximize muscular hypertrophy meaning get bigger muscles you need to be eating in a calorie surplus a positive energy balance right so don't neglect your nutrition man this shit is so important so that's basically why skinny guys aren't building muscle right they don't eat enough right and you need to understand that everyone has different genetics basically meaning and what i'm trying to target right here is your bmi right your basal metabolic rate and especially some skinny guys like what are called hard gainers they have really high um, BMR or metabolic rate and they just can't seem to eat enough to gain weight right and that's fine again it's due to genetics but that just means they need to eat more and more and more until they do gain weight for example me I can eat man I can eat so much it's unreal I, I've got no trouble gaining weight and no trouble losing weight right so that's maybe a genetic advantage whatever it may be a disadvantage because I can gain weight a lot easier right but whatever so step number one is they're not eating enough really Step number two is they're not lifting heavy enough. So you need to understand that in order to gain weight, uh, the biggest factor is progressive tension overload. I don't know how many times I've said this in every single one of my videos, but for those subscribers that are watching most of my videos, this should be ingrained into you, right? Progressive tension overload is so important. This is basically just adding more weight onto that bar. Okay, so those of you are probably going to comment like strength, but this doesn't correlate, uh, correlate to muscle gain, blah, blah, blah. Okay, you're right, but you're not right. First of all, you're not right because as a beginner, first of all, your strength will increase way faster than muscle gain. But if you're just lifting the same old weight time and time again, are you really going to be gaining muscle? No, you need to go into a strength block. Then once you've gained that strength, go back to the hypertrophy phase and you'll be lifting more weight. So basically more load as well. In that rep range, in that 8 to 12 basic rep range, right? So more time under tension. It's just basic hypertrophy right here. So step number one, they're not eating enough. Step number two, they're not adding more weight to their butt over time. Now, the reason why I say the strength doesn't correlate exactly with building muscle after a period of time is because look at powerlifters in the Olympics or stuff like this or weightlifters, whatever they call them. They're not exactly jacked like a bodybuilder, right? Because they have those neurological pathways. Strength is also neurological pathways after a while. However, when you're... Excuse me, when your goal is hypertrophy, building muscle, getting size, getting bigger, you need to have those blocks of strength training. If you're not doing that, you're going to hit plateaus guaranteed. So those are the basic two factors why skinny guys are not gaining weight. And it's just so, so simple, right? And also the third one, again, I say this in probably every single one of my videos, greater volume load over a period of time. This basically means, so volume load is sets times your reps times the tonnage or load or even the weight you're lifting, whatever you want to call that number or name, whatever. So, say you do 5 sets times 10 reps times 100 kg, that's the volume load, right? And after a period of time, after a few months, you slowly increase that number over a period of time and you will gain muscle, right? So, these are just the basic principles why skinny guys are not gaining muscle. Once you master this, there's not many other things in order to gain weight, right? So, to gain weight is just about the calories in and calories out. It needs to be positive, add more weight onto the bar over time. And then thirdly, greater volume load, right? So basic simple here, simples here. Why can't I speak to them? What's going on? To gain muscle and gain size, right? So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe down below, leave a comment, let me know your thoughts. Uh, for those subscribers that have heard this a thousand times, I'm sorry, but I hope you get the point. And if you do implement this in your routine, you will gain muscle and then you'll fake me later, right? So no homer there. So anyway, you already know the deal. Sorry for the bad quality once again. The camera's on its way. More importantly, stay positive, stay smiling, and I'll see you in the next one.